What up with it, Q-Tie hollering at you. And first quick tip of the day, should you play on pro or hall of fame for my career? Me, I play on hall of fame every year, you know what I'm saying? A, it helped me get my skill up up against that CPU cheese because people do it in my team anyway. And B, it give you more points, you know what I'm talking about? More BC, more everything. But this year, from what I found, if you are trying to grind for badges, put that thing on pro. I got a screenshot up here right now, the attack assist. Note those right there, that was my baseline. When I played on pro, I had four attack assists and it was only like 1,060. So from what I can tell, you are not getting more points from playing on Hall of Fame as far as the badges are concerned. So if you grinding for badges, put that thing on pro. But if you wanna increase your attribute upgrades and get more caps, that's where playing Hall of Fame is gonna be a benefit to you if you can handle it, you know what I'm saying? If you want to play on Superstar, anything in between, cool. But if you're trying to get your overall caps, go ahead and put it up to the highest difficulty that you can play on and be efficient still, and that's going to get you upgraded faster. But if you're grinding for badges, put that thing on pro. All right, now to the main video. Here we are looking at the overall of my player, man. Don't judge my stats too crazy. Like I said, I be playing on Hall of Fame, dog, but I'm about to cut that out because I need some more badges and pros the way to go for that, like I said. And I'm about to give me another uh, cap upgrade as we speak. 89 overall point guard, two-way slashing playmaker. Six feet overall, 183 pounds. I know he's short. I know he's short, but speed kills in this one, man. It's actually relevant to have a player that's shorter. You do actually see some benefits from that, man. You actually see it this year. So let's go ahead and check out my stats, man. Don't go too crazy on my stats either, but hey, 95 ball handling, bro. That's what I'm, hey, <laughs> yeah. Going crazy, going crazy. Driving in layup, 87. Driving dunk, 84. Not too bad right there. And I do be getting it in. The midi is 79. And the three-point cheese is only 69. But I ain't trying to shoot this bill for real, for real. You see the perimeter defense, 85 overall. Lateral quickness, 87 overall. Now, let's get to the guts, man. Is this is this bill good or not? Are short guards good or not? And the answer for me is yes, man. Yes. But you got to realize what you're going to be sacrificing if you decide to go with a build similar to this. I know you would say, why would you make a guard that short if he can't shoot? But, bro, I'm clamping and I'm fast. I can dribble. I can drive and kick. And if you leave me too crazy open, hey, I can hit that thing on you. You feel me? So, man, I'm going to tell you right now. On the perimeter, you can have a lot of fun with this build. You can go crazy. I got that uh, quick first step Hall of Fame. Man, going crazy, I'm telling you right now. Ain't no stopping me on the perimeter. Now, when you get in the paint, that's where the badge is gonna come into play even more. You gonna need that giant slayer with a player this short. <laughs> yeah, you don't need that. Consistent finisher, that's basically the equivalent to flexible release for jump shooters, you know what I'm saying? Consistent finisher, once I put that on my player, man, yeah. Yeah, I really started getting it in, man. I'm telling you, there's a lot of badges that just, just gonna turn your play up. So don't get too discouraged from your player right now, man. It's still early, but once you get the badges on them, man, there's gonna be a lot of different builds that are gonna be dope. The one problem that I got with this build is that you are absolutely gonna be barbecue chicken in the paint. You see my interior defense, 32, rebounding, 40 a piece, even if I upgrade them, like 46 to 47, I believe, and my shot contest and my block, 44. So in the paint, I'm barbecue chicken. That is the one problem I got right now. I gotta try to figure out how I'm gonna deal with that. But if you play with a big man in the park, you good. You good, because on the perimeter, I ain't had no problem guarding nobody. No shooters, no dribblers, no nobody, bro. I got clamps on silver right now. And so far with that, man, the lateral quickness, the steel, I ain't even got that all the way upgraded yet, but I've been able to shut down whoever I wanted to as far as the perimeter is concerned. The midi is a little bit more difficult because the height difference dudes can pull up and green on you real quick, but even then it ain't been nothing crazy. I ain't really had no problems because this year, man, they really, woo, they nerf shooters crazy. But once the shooters actually get all their badges on there, oh, they gonna be a problem, I think. They just said right off rip, we ain't gonna let you do all this craziness, dribbling and pulling up, getting greens and everything, but they're starting to figure it out. Green machine and flexible release. Those are two big pieces of the puzzle right there, but hey, man. I'm liking the build so far. I just can't do nothing with nobody in the paint, but can't nobody guard me on the outside. So it's a trade-off, you know what I'm saying? I got an Ar Allen Iverson light player, you know what I'm saying? And I rock with it. So I'm, I'm happy with the build so far. So just be be careful. If you make a shorter guard this year, this ain't going to be my only build. Now, I'm going to make something else. 
I'm gonna make something else. But if you make a short bill, hey, don't plan to do nothing in the paint. I'm telling you. But for me, getting that 95 speed, I ain't quite there yet. I think I got, yeah, right there, 92 speed, 91 acceleration. I'm bugging like it ain't on the screen. But the speed is worth it, man. And that first step, like I said, it it's a fun build. It's a really fun build, man. But anyway, man, you let me know what y'all went with, man. And if you like your build so far, if not, I'm telling you, just stick it out a little bit. Put the right badges on there and you'll be all right, man. Just let me know how it's looking for you, 2K20. We only out the weekend, man. You know, everybody putting complaints and everything out there. But the game barely been out, you know what I'm saying? 72 hours, for real, for real. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feeling down in the comment section below. Until next time, it's been a quick video. Holla at your boy. Peace.